all hello there YouTube welcome to this beautiful 49 degree May the 9th I think we are today yeah 9th man I think it was the high 30s Kelly, Kelly nobody ever looked to see what it was but Kelly said I think I seen 30 something <laughs> but uh yeah it's quite cold this morning but uh, I think it's supposed to be another beautiful day. I think it's supposed to be all sunshine all day and no chance of rain. It's uh, rare. We can get nice days, but very seldom is there like no chance of rain. We like it. It's springtime. Time for the nice weather. Mama? Just like yesterday, it's not quite as sunny here as it was at home. Mm -hmm. That's all right. It rebounded, but end of the day, it sure, but it poured all the way home yeah can't yeah, believe we got yet. to the house that it was completely dry it didn't look like it ever rained it didn't catch there yet but it yeah. did come yeah it oh, did yeah. well she cut loose goodness it i hear it i just don't see it oh here it comes oh somebody's got exhaust on a rebel oh. but anyway mama it's tuesday yeah let's go in there and bust her out all right have yourself a wonderful day. You too, hubby. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you. Bye bye now. Bye. Hey, uh, 2021 S1000XR. Oddly enough, it's in for its first service. <laughs> so, first thing I go to fire it up to bring it in here, and it's got a low fob battery warning. It's in central locking system, may be limited at this point. <laughs> but, uh, Anyway, I guess being 21, that could be it. Keys were probably left somewhere. Well, that's enough time that you're supposed to replace the fob batteries every year anyway. But, um, yeah, being two years old, that lure. That's cool. All right. Cut, though. S1000XR. How about that? It's amazing how tall these things are. They're not lacking any height. You know, the, uh, <laughs> the 22 pounds I've lost in the last, what, five weeks? Sure makes reaching the, uh, the handlebars aren't quite so far away on the sport bikes. Not this is a very upright kind of riding position, but still I just notice, you know, the tank rolls at the back. The old shelf that hide, uh, was hiding Jimmy. He's not quite so big anymore. <laughs> wow, it's only oh, it's only 59 degrees. Now that I put this coat on, took off. It feels a lot hotter than that. <sighs> it's the first time I've sat down since I got out of the car this morning. So Kelly's, <laughs> Kelly, that knucklehead woman, tells me today, so I'm telling her, I said, well, you know, they're going to have, uh, she's got a dental thing, they're doing a root canal and a tooth pull all in one shot. I said, well, make sure you, you know, you hang around the office there for a bit, let that Novocaine burn off, you know, burn off a little bit, can, can make you kind of kind of queasy or if you you know use gas you definitely need to if they still do that I don't even know but uh, definitely wait around she goes well it could be quite some time before I wake up but I'll make sure I'm fine I said wake up she goes yeah they're gonna have to do surgery on that one tooth or I guess her roots are hooked or something <laughs> and I'm going Kelly how long is that going to take after they're done before you can even leave? She goes, I'll be fine. I go, Kelly, you didn't tell me they were doing all that. Well, I told you they're removing the tooth. And that is the most anti-detail-giving woman you're going to ever meet. And if you push for details, it actually kind of bugs her. I go, well, what exactly is going on? Well, you know, everything is in the simplest of terms. <laughs> when she described stuff, you know. 
I'm like Mr. I need every, every detail kind of a thing, you know. <laughs> so anyway, I have, my schedule is pretty light for tomorrow, so they're going to see if uh, they can shuffle my work around. Knuckle-headed woman. <laughs> oh well. You do what you do. But I, I'm not letting her drive that dentist by herself. Crazy woman. So I go up and uh to get a, a fob battery. I said, you need to get authorization for a fob battery. And he goes, what authorization? Don't you have it? And I go, no, there's no note on here. There's nothing. I said, I, I discovered it on my own there. Always a car there. Always. You see nothing? Always there's one there. But, um, he goes, yeah, that's supposed to be with it. I go, Matt, you gave me no note saying that it it needed a fob battery. <laughs> I don't think I've ever gone this way. Where is this going to take me? It's probably going to get me lost, huh? What you reckon? I think I know. Yeah, I know where I'm at. No issues whatsoever on this one. It's just pretty normal. It's usually when you got a lot of miles and someone hasn't been taking the the best of care. But that's, that's usually rare on BMWs. The only time you get anything weird like that would be uh, like an R19 because a lot of those people, I mean, it's such a simple, such a simple bike. A lot of people just do things themselves and miss things and that are you know, supposed to be paid attention to during your service intervals which reminds me my Himalayan and uh, oh look at that how are we doing how are you I haven't seen you in a coon's age oh, yeah, I'm still breathing <laughs> all right that's good bike. Oh, my God. yeah oh, not a no no this is a shop oh, you uh, ride one every day. yeah you got a test ride after oh, really? yeah you know, all these times I stop, I never asked you your name. Yeah, my name's Rick. Rick. Yeah. Yeah, obviously I'm Sean. <laughs> yeah, 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 Sean. Yeah. yeah. Well, cool. I hadn't seen you in quite a while. I was starting to get worried. I seen you walking down the road a ways. Yeah. I thought maybe you weren't in this complex anymore. Oh, still here. <laughs> cool. He's been in my house the last week. Uh, first of all, his wife machine went out. Oh, no. Left my whole apartment. Oh. So I had to take everything out of the apartment, get it out of the fast. Oh, no. Clean up and... I finally put, it's probably putting everything back in for the last two weeks and doing all that, so it's like, okay. Busy boy, huh? Oh, yeah. You well, still, yeah, you I still. I water to open the washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> I came home like, what the heck, water's <laughs> running out of the light socket. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, I'm not worried about that. He goes, well, I think, well, if I flood something else, okay, I'm just going to cool down the devil. Yeah. <laughs> and he goes, what? I go, and you heard me? I go, okay. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. I don't want to bomb a on the ground. So. Yeah, yeah. Never <laughs> <laughs> mind. Well, cool. Hey, you can't be already, huh? Yeah, yeah. Probably see one of them shows them crazy war people, huh? Yeah, if you watch. And all that stuff on TV now. If you look up Sean Smoke on yeah. YouTube, you'll you'll see these things. Let me see you doing the wheelies up and down the road, huh? Nah, I can't oh, do that. Know, huh? Yeah, I'm on customer spikes. That that oh, yeah, that probably uh, make me yeah. jobless pretty quick. Yeah. Well, I'm glad to see you doing good and. Oh, yeah. You're looking fit as a fiddle. Oh, yeah. You still watching the dogs? Yeah, I still watch the dogs. Very good. Uh, That's good for your soul, having dogs around. I watch a neighbor's house and she eats water and flowers. And oh. She thought it was the funniest thing. And she told the neighbor, she goes, I have that Rick watch my house somewhere. She goes, yeah. And he goes, you know he even watered the plastic flowers up front? Oh. She <laughs> said, he watered all the flowers in the front and all the flowers in the back. I said, okay. Every two days, I went and watered every flower. I go, I didn't touch the flowers. I just watered every flower. Some of them things look I, real. Nice and flowers that are nice and clean and shiny. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool. Well, I need to get get back to my work. To work. Nice yeah, seeing you. Okay, yeah. Thanks now. Uh, I will. Rick. 
That's been kind of bugging me that I haven't seen him in a while, and I'm thinking I'm like the worst introduce myself or ask names, and I'm just not a very nosy person, you know. <laughs> but anyway, nice thing. I, I got a name. Boy, he's looking good, isn't he? Man, he's probably walking them dogs around, keeping himself busy. Good old boy. It's funny, when we first met, he kind of almost ran from me that one time. Probably thought I was some crazy person. Why would some guy just pull up on me, you know? But that's cool. Hot dang. That just makes my day. complain these things have a pickle bucket seat um, it doesn't seem so pickle bucket anymore and I think it was the size of my uh, my rear quarters back there or something that's where I don't notice the pickle bucket but I always lose weight in my face then my butt then my belly <laughs> why is the belly always last the one thing you want to get rid of and this is no this is just dieting. And I'm not I'm not lacking anything. I, I don't feel I mean what I eat is healthy and I don't miss anything. It kind of drives crazy Kelly crazy because you know she does all the grocery shopping. So you gotta find stuff that, you know, in a serving I can it doesn't equal or exceed 20% of my daily allowance of sodium. Can't have any red meats. But the worst thing is I can't do, you know, as you start losing weight, you, you feel more active, so you wanna do more, you know, like I got, you know, a little running bicycle thing, got a weightlifting thing out in the garage, and got all things I can do. And, um, but I'm not allowed to, to do any until my next checkup. After they see what's what's going on, and uh, we'll go from there. But I'm not supposed to, like, purposely, like, as in an exercise kind of a thing, get my heart racing. It's not they're afraid of my heart. It's what's going on with the, you know the whatever the blockage was that created the stroke or whatever it was. I don't know. Coming up on me quick there, Toyota. Scared me like that. I was just talking about primer colors yesterday. This is one of those that kind of a primer color. There's some leaked photos of S1000 XR, or let me correct that, an M1000 XR. Well, they did an M class in the uh, R model, so it seems fitting to make an XR an M model. Be a very, very expensive motorcycle, but epically cool. Carbon fiber everywhere, including the wheels, and it is top notch. Not in there today. Let's call him on lunch break. it is out here. I love the spring. So I ordered this uh, servo saver kit from Axial. Just to have additional parts is really cheap servo saver thing and a shift thing it has the different arms and stuff but uh anyway i dug that stuff out this is before i did all the stuff to mine so i dug this stuff out and you're not going to believe what's in there 
in the servo saver kit the base of the servo saver that mounts to the servo itself it comes with a 23 tooth which is a huge problem and even worse a 24 tooth I've never seen a 24 and also a 25 for this cheap little kit all this mucking about and creating my own deal uh, it was right in that kit and the crazy thing is is I had that kit <laughs> before I even started all that stuff I go why is there three bases to this thing that seems weird well because there's three different uh, two size that's the number of teeth on the on the power shaft that uh, comes out of the servo and the biggest problem was is for whatever reason they're using them 23s the spectrum and then I was doing some I don't think it comes with it at least I didn't see it but I downloaded online the spectrum XD XD3 the radio system it's the ready to run radio they send them with it was a, a manual for that and uh, th that's that's actually a very intelligent setup very intelligent setup and if you're getting one of these SEX 10 3s um, Axial has some uh, some cool YouTube videos that explains and that's how I knew how to do it I seen it watched the video but really good videos on how to set your endpoints very easy set those endpoints that's why the people are smoking them servos out that's probably why they came out with that video because people just don't pay attention there's things you need to do but anyway thanks for coming for a ride on this beautiful S1000XR <laughs> uh, we should stop laughing before we mm -hmm. uh, it's about time we're getting ready to say hello you do of course <laughs> chuckling about something we're carrying on about well that was a very nice day wonderful uh bmw ride that was very nice mm -hmm. Heck yeah you're kind of spoiled yeah Ooh, s1000 xr that thing's a that thing's a rocket ship <laughs> crazy things but who needs a i don't know if it, what is a hybrid sport slash adventure do whatever you want with it kind of a thing i've seen people put knobbies on these things when they first came out and doing crazy stunts and stuff with them and like yeah they could do some stuff but mm -hmm. uh anyway on and amok. Yeah, they've been carrying on on here since we got home. All that sun's out. And it's warm out here and they're going they're crazy. all giddy. But, uh, anyway, I reckon on that, we're going to roll out. Alrighty, well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah, poor mom's got to go see the dreaded dentist tomorrow. They're Not gonna, my favorite thing. They're going to mess her ever. all up. <laughs> Anyway, we'll talk to you tomorrow. See, See how that you. all works out. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.